We told you about the two missing trainers, Emmanuel Stewart and Freddie Roach, in the first fight, the Celtic War. Tonight, Sergio Martinez is fighting with Martinez to knock out Paul Williams. Roy, you once held a world championship in this division. Be boring because Zinzirik is not going to stay away from Martinez. He's going to be right in. Roy, Sergio Martinez fights in a unique style. Larry Merchant and I call it. Martin Martinez is doing, though, is he's using his jab. He has the most effective against a normally very good defensive fighter here. He's tripped supposed to be a superior jabber. And already, Martinez, 24 of 51 in round one. With his hands down in front of a taller fighter, the shorter fighter. Well, like most guys, I found a hole in the armor to land a big Has been landing against Sinzurik without Sinzurik giving him openings, although there was the first open. big left hand shot over the top by Martinez, and it found a home. There's a good quick right hook by Martinez. You see that the guy's not coming like he, like he was. I mean, he's there, but he's not throwing nearly as many punches. And now he's kicked down, it's allowing him, uh, um, forcing Zinzurik to punch a little bit. Does everything wrong and makes it come out right. Well, that's what about that. As long as he knows this is what it's going to take to make it a good fight for the fans, he'll take that gamble. Yeah. May cost him, but he's taking it. Time. What a not in Martinez's class was rejected as an opponent by Adrian rather than to defend his sanctioning body belt. We all know he's the middleweight champion of the world. Ooh. Oh. Sincerek popped Martinez with his best shot of the fight. And what's funny is, as, te as technical as this jab. Well, very simple, Roy. He's getting beaten to the punch. He's getting beaten to the punch. Left hand. This round, he, he seemed to stun Martinez briefly. I think he is starting to find some openings, which are there. Hmm. Does Zinzirak. The good thing for Martinez, though, is what, the other thing that's breaking Zinzirak. Agreed that Martinez would have to do something brave and different to make this an entertaining fight and to turn the tactical war in his favor. Good, quick right hand by Zinzirak. Martinez in the jab for a moment in favor of right hooks. Now he comes back to the jab, jab, jab. Well, that's a given within their fighting styles. I, I think Martinez's style is based from bicycle racing and soccer. Play. I don't think he's good either. Zinzirik is landing yeah. more now than was the kick. High number of connects for Zinzirik. Landed at a 43% rate. Good round for him. But Harold, I mean, uh, Sergio had bigger numbers. Oh. And Zinzirik dropped the knee. Two, There's a knockdown three, for Martinez. Four, it happened. And his knee certainly hit the canvas. Uh, all right, Harold, now take us to your scorecard. Attention, three to nothing, 30 to 27, Maravilla Martinez. Maravilla Martinez just out jabbing him, out working him, out punching him. He won the first three rounds, three to nothing, Martinez. And he's difference in strength, I think, is apparent. It is, but you got to also look at it like this. Something that's trying to tear your head off. Multiple punches from Martinez going in combination again. Brave aggressor against the taller fighter tonight. Roy, is Zurich doing anything wrong, or is he just... Martinez can't. So he can't count on Martinez because he don't know what Martinez is going to do. Roy, if in fact it's true that Zurich has never been knocked down, what does that little dip of the knee do to his confidence? It def don't retaliate yeah. now. <laughs> to you all along about the audacious strategy of Martinez, who is out jabbing the jabber. Fight. He has shown the energy to do this for 12 rounds. Good hard left hand shot by Martinez. Anytime. The other thing about Martinez is his hands are down, but he brings that left hand up right to his chin. Good left hand by Martinez. Taller fighter and the more accurate puncher, ostensibly, that he was going to bring the fight to Martinez more than pulling ahead, obviously, in the fight. But I think he is fighting all those guys. The hard punching come forward Mexican fighter who aroused a lot of excitement with his hey, yeah. Down goes in Zurich again. Second knockdown of his career. And he's getting. I say Martinez is a super fighter because when you can reduce a good, undefeated, good, technically skilled fighter like in Zurich to this after destroying Paul Williams. Roy. Is it possible that a guy's punching power suddenly escalates to a 
dramatically higher level at age 35 or 30. This is the harder puncher here. So Zenzirik doesn't have no better sense or no better knowledge than to stay straight ahead and try to trade with him. And that's crazy because... Their level. It's it, the Pacquiao, the Mayweather, the Nonito Donaire, the Sergio Martinez level. And I... Obviously, realizing that he's well behind on the scorecards, there's a good counter right hand by Zenzirik. If he had more punching power... He's gonna catch up. Fighting and letting it happen. He's just letting it happen. They're midway through the fight. On the scorecards, uh, Zinzurik would have to do something sensational to win this fight or even get a draw. Martinez is the harder puncher. What makes you say that? Uh, <laughs> that was sort of an indicator. But you can look at the physical build of these guys. For speed and quickness. Martinez is a little bit sort of buff for a boxer, and sometimes that slows you down. But it also doesn't allow you to take the best punch. Guys, he's getting caught a lot in this round, Martinez. They're not as hard as Martinez's shots, but they're accurate, straight shots to the head. Oh, good shot by Zinzurik. Oh, very good left hand by Zinzurik. And you heard in Zinzurik's corner, the instructions were cold-blooded. But it's not just his temperament, it's also the strategy. They want him fighting like a machine. Yep. Zinzirik may have to knock Martinez down or otherwise. Good jab. Good jab. Beautiful jab. That jab is landing almost like a straight right hand. Right? Yep. He puts on a show. The, the coasting, Jim, may work against Martinez because it comes easily in boxing. <laughs> well, he could continue to fight behind his, the need for it. There's more of a sense of urgency. Doesn't feel as... There he is. Here's the third knockdown of the Won't fight. make it up this time. And this time, Zinzirik is very badly Four, hurt. Five, six. That was a... Not at all. Well, it was different. It wasn't an overhead left. It was a straight left. And down goes Zinzirik again. And this may soon be over with. Got a lot of heart, but Martinez just too much. And he don't have sense enough to move or run away right now. Because that's just not his style. His style is just... This is over. This is an amazing performance. Maybe Sergio Martinez's most impressive performance to date. It is impossible to look good against Zinzurik. He, he just looks looking. sensational. Particulars on the knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 1 minute 43 seconds of round number 8. The winner by TKO victory, his place even more secure as among pound for pound, the best in the world. And now the winner of the WBC Diamond Belt, El Gran Campeón, Sergio Maravilla Martinez.